Hello everyone, my name is Adia Jones. I'm a biochemistry major here at the University of Delaware. And this summer, I've been diving into the world of plants, microbes, and longevity vitamins through the Summer Institute Undergraduate Research Program. I've always been passionate about understanding how natural compounds impact health. So working in Dr. Harsh Bass's lab in the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences has been the perfect fit for me. Have you ever wondered if plants could absorb vitamins that help them and us live healthier lives? My project focuses on ergothionine, often called a longevity vitamin, because of its powerful antioxidant properties. It's something humans get from their diet, mainly mushrooms, but what if we could naturally boost its levels in the plants we grow? This summer, I'm investigating whether plants can take up ergothionine when it's applied in three different ways. First, with the help of PGPR, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. Second, with streptomyces, which is a beneficial soil bacterium. And then third, if simply through direct ergothionine inoculation alone. To find out, I'm using microbial assays to prepare and confirm our bacterial treatments performing plant inoculations to apply them to our seedlings, and using HPLC analysis to detect how much ergothionine the plants actually absorb under each condition. It's like giving plants different helpers and seeing who's the best at delivering this vitamin to, to them. Being in this lab has helped me master simple but essential lab techniques that every scientist needs, like pipetting accurately, making agar plates, preparing sterile media, performing cereal dilutions, plating bacteria, seed sterilization, and running HPLC samples. At first, I thought these were small tasks, but I've learned that precision in the basics is what makes complex experiments successful. This research is important because it could lead to natural microbiome-based ways to boost antioxidant levels in plants, improving both their health and the nutritional quality of our food. For me, it's been amazing to see how tiny microbes can have such a huge impact on plant biochemistry.